I'm Beck Melrose, I'm 30 and I'm from Sydney. I work as a content manager for a charity. How I ended up in comedy, I guess I threw my name in the hat and I'm here. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty sarcastic, maybe sweet and sarcastic. Pretty nervous, to be honest, um, but also really excited. It's an awesome opportunity. From Sydney, it's Beck Melrose! Hello. Hello, Melbourne. The world's changing really quickly, isn't it? I was watching a program where they were talking about how close we are to the release of hyper-realistic sex robots. <laughs> Don't know if hyper-realism is what I'm looking for in a sex aid. <laughs> you have a couple of drinks and tumble into bed with this thing after it's negged you all night. <laughs> and then it sits bolt upright and starts furiously wanking. Just hold on a sec, babe. I swear this never happens. <laughs> Let's not go for realism. We've put a man on the moon. Let's go for the things we want. <laughs> Empathy, sense of humour and girth. <laughs> I turned 30 last year. And for anyone who's still in their 20s, I can report that it's basically everyone you thought you loved and trusted trying to pyramid sell you things. <laughs> and you can't bring Doritos to parties anymore. People look at you like you're a wild animal. It's all about mission chips now. They're the new baseline crisp. <laughs> People come out of the woodwork too. People you haven't seen in years. I went out with this girl that I went to school with, and um, sure enough, she was just checking if my self-esteem was low enough to buy into isogenics, but... <laughs> when we left the cafe, we walked past a homeless woman, and I put some change in her cup. And this girl says to me, oh, I don't give money to homeless people because they just waste it. You're not allowed to say that while you're wearing Lorna Jane. <laughs> She had one of those singlets on the never, 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 never give up. The shirts you're only allowed to wear once you've realised the crippling limits of your own potential. They really should be making shirts that say defo, 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 struggling heaps more than I anticipated when I left high school. I'd wear one. It's fun reconnecting with these people, though. It's definitely entertaining. Uh, her boyfriend tagged her in this post while they were in Cambodia that said, Cambodia, you're beautiful. Don't change. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll just put rebuilding our fledgling economy while trying to cope with the intergenerational trauma of one of the world's fastest moving genocides on the back burner for your holes then. <laughs> The other Facebook post I love is the lads at the airport getting ready for their Euro trip. Lads, 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 here we go. Europe's not going to know what hit it. <laughs> and maybe not. But I do get the sense that Europe is pretty resilient. <laughs> They're not going to come through two world wars and the collapse of economic empires only to crumble when Jaden <laughs> from Mooney Ponds <laughs> has a few too many electric lemonades in Mykonos. <laughs> Sometimes I look around at our generation and just think, we're fucked. But it, it, it's not all our fault, you know? The world's going mad, and we're all too busy to do anything about it. I look back at the achievements of history and just think, Einstein must have worked from home heaps. <laughs> We've got all these productivity gurus trying to help, saying things like, we all have the same amount of hours in our day. You have the same amount of hours in your day as Beyonce. Sure, that's how time works. <laughs> but Beyonce's not under the same pressure as us, is she? When's the last time Beyonce had to hand scrub skitties in her bathroom sink? 
Definitely not since Destiny's Child. <laughs> Beyonce's done heaps for chicks, but she's, um, she's really put women on the map. Uh, she's leading this group of feminist pop stars, and their latest move is reclaiming the word pussy, which I'm really seeing the benefits of in my daily struggles with structural inequality. <laughs> mind it though, go for it, reclaim the term, whatever. Just bums me out, you know, like, here's another thing I've got to worry about now. <laughs> there are girls out there like Katy Perry in her new song, bragging about her Michelin star puss. <laughs> it's hard to top. <laughs> I'd be lucky if mine got a half-decent Yelp review. <laughs> Polite staff. Didn't have to wait too long to get in. <laughs> Would eat again if I was in the neighbourhood. <laughs> Wish me luck, you've been lovely, thanks. One more time, back memory! Oh, it just feels like a blur at this point. I was so nervous leading up to it, um, but as soon as I got out there and you get a couple of laughs and everyone was really friendly, it was a great crowd, so I enjoyed it, despite the nerves. <laughs>